Jacksonville's leading elder statesman, former Mayor Jake Godbold, tells Tom Wills morale at JEA is terrible right now. And the choice of Aaron Zahn, a relative newcomer to the JEA, as the utility's new interim CEO, is only making it worse. I think it was a terrible move. Godbold also says he almost feels sorry for Zahn, who's now temporarily at least, replacing CEO Paul McElroy. You'll remember McElroy resigned in the midst of the city's running discussion over possibly privatizing JEA. Today I sat down with Godbold, who served two terms as mayor from the late 70s until the late 80s. He has just written a letter to Mayor Curry saying he believes the JEA debate is hurting the mayor. Godbold says in part, the issue, quote, has been botched since the beginning. Your credibility is being damaged and your motives are being questioned. Frankly, I think you are getting bad advice, advice that does not appear to flow from what is in the best interest of Jacksonville. In addition, there is a mean spiritedness about it all. And he told Curry, quote, I am one of a whole lot of people in Jacksonville who are having a hard time believing you. Besides opposing the sale of the electric side of JEA, Godbold is even more alarmed about any sale of the water and sewer service, warning it could, in his words, leave Jacksonville high and dry. Godbold told me it was a private letter to the mayor, and he does not know who has made it public. It was a friendly letter, and I signed it as your friend, Jake Godbold. And uh, I told him about, you need to get out and talk to the public. And I talked about a lot of the rumors that are going around and the suspicion of him operating this thing, even though he said he's not made up his mind yet. But, and I said, I would be willing to talk to you at any time. Have you heard back from the mayor? I have not heard back from the mayor. I have not offered that call and asked him to call me. And I'd be personally glad to talk to him. But I haven't heard back from him yet. Since our interview this morning, we have learned that Mayor Curry has now left a phone message for Godbold to call him, and Godbold says he will do that tomorrow. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pickett is joining us from downtown. Jim, this letter leaked out just as Zahn, who is really a JEA rookie, was beginning as the interim CEO yesterday. He avoided your questions. He met with the mayor today and did talk with you today. Did he elaborate on his statement yesterday to the board that he wants to halt discussion of selling JEA? Not really. They really wouldn't go into detail with that, but the mayor and have did talk with me afterwards, and they basically said that that's what they want to do, and they couldn't elaborate much more on that. The reason, they said, is they really want to calm the fears of employees and also of customers who think this is a done deal. Aaron Zahn is now running the utility after serving on the JEA board for less than two months. Even though he's never worked for JEA or any other utility, Zahn says he's qualified to do so. Up until yesterday, he had been with an investment group. He had been chairman and CEO of a wastewater treatment company that employed less than 50 people. JEA has more than 2,000 workers. Zahn says he understands how to deal with policymakers. Number one focus for our company going forward right now is getting back to our customers and to um, taking care of our employees. But the looming question remains about a potential JEA sale. Zahn wants to put talks on hold, but he refused to say whether he wants to end them altogether. Critics of a potential sale, like former Mayor Jake Godbolt, believes sales talks have been all orchestrated by the mayor's office. Godbolt does not believe Curry when he says he's not behind a sale. Curry says, all of this has become a circus environment created by certain members of city council. And the politicians need to get out of the politics of it. But you know, people really aren't question. believing that. They're not believing that, Mayor. I, They're, I, even Mayor uh, Jake Godbold was saying this morning, he doesn't believe Jim, that this was a uh, Jim, I, I reject the premise. And if you, know, if you have some insight on the public opinion that goes beyond Jake Godbold or a few others, I appreciate that. But I'm in communities and neighborhoods talking to people almost every day and so look we operate uh, under the law in accordance with the law uh, we are transparent and uh, so i just reject the premise of your statement i saw mr godbold's letter mayor godbold's by the way uh, i've reached out to him i've had no communication with him uh, i guess he delivered a letter that he says was personal and confidential you guys had it maybe before i had it i'm not sure 
Uh, so he's entitled to his opinion, and I would look forward to a conversation with him at some point if he wants to return my call. So despite them talking about pausing the talks, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Tomorrow morning, city council is set to uh, once again to debate this issue in their special committee. That will happen at 9 a.m. And there's also more talks that are expected to come up as well. Uh, legislation is also being introduced by Councilman Garrett Dennis that would actually change the way that the JEA board is appointed. He wants to see city council appoint four members and the mayor only appoint three. Right now, the mayor appoints all of the members with council approval. That's legislation that will be introduced next week. We're live at City Hall. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Jim, did questions come up as to why Zahn was selected unanimously by the JEA board over Melissa Dykes, who was interim CEO for all of a week? that did come up and they were asking even the board chair about that today and basically what they're saying is that they felt that yes melissa dykes has a lot of background that would have been good that they're going to work together but they think that this is actually going to be the way to go jim pickett reporting live from downtown thank you jim right now on news4jacks.com you can read mayor godbold's full letter to mayor curry just look inside this story right on the home page